Mooncakes and lucky dishes are popular around this time as the Chinese community marks the Mid-Autumn Festival. And Manila Hotel's Mabuhay Palace lets us in on the items and treats they're serving up for good fortune. Caroline Howard takes us there. Hello everyone, we're here with Chef Josephine Candelaria, Executive Sous Chef here at the Mabuhay Palace. Chef, tell us about the Mid-Autumn Festival. This is uh, second to the most celebrated event of us Chinese. Way, way back, there's this war between two regions. And in order for them to send message going out, they'll put it in a paper in writing and then put it inside a mooncake. Every full moon, we celebrate this uh, mid-autumn yearly. It commemorates the, the heroic thing that they did before. Chef Joy is referring to a popular folktale commemorating an uprising in China against the Mongol rulers of the Yuan dynasty in the 14th century. Rebels had supposedly planted messages inside mooncakes on a coordinated attack that paved the way for the overthrow of government and the establishment of the Ming dynasty. Today, mooncakes have become a significant part of the Mid-Autumn Festival, a popular harvest festival marked when the moon is at its fullest and celebrated by the Chinese dating back to over 3,000 years. How are you marking the occasion? For our Mid-Autumn Festival this year, uh, we have uh, two kinds of set menu that's in store for everyone. Uh, it's uh, what we call our lucky dishes for this year. For the set A, we have the Mid-Autumn Appetizer Trio, suckling pig on a bed of chicken liver pate with jellyfish and one dim sum. For the soup, we have braised chicken shark spin soup and fish mao. For the vegetable, we have broccoli flour and oyster sauce. And for the poultry, we have crispy pigeon, steamed sea bass filet in Chinese ham and shiitake mushroom, pit lobster with special garlic sauce. For long life, a uh, braised noodle with honey barbecue pork and assorted mushroom. For the mooncakes, we also have co um, collaborated with our executive Chinese chef, Sun Bing, uh, five new flavors. It's a fusion of Chinese and Filipino ingredients. Uh, for the September 12, we will have a night where you could enjoy the good food and then you could also play the Pua Tiong Chu. Chef Joy shows us how to prepare the fortune-rich pouch, a featured dish in Mabuhay Palace's set menu. We start with the cooking oil. We will sauté first the onions. Next, we will be putting our Chinese sausage and ham. So we put on the sausage first to make it more fragrant. Next, we will put our chicken. Next is the assorted mushroom and vegetables. These are already pre-cooked. After mixing all the ingredients together, we will put in the garlic. Then you could put in your dark soya. This one will give color to your rice. After the dark soya, you could put in your jasmine rice. After putting all ingredients together and sautéing it, uh, we will put the rice inside the lotus leaf. We will enhance the taste. So, after putting it inside the leaf, you, you will wrap it around to cover the rice and then we will steam it for about uh, five minutes. Put it in your serving plate and then make a cut here and then it's ready to eat. Chef Sun Bing shows us how to prepare a new variation of their mooncake. For this mooncake, we need the cake flour and the all-purpose custard powder, sugar syrup, peanut oil. All together. Uh, you mix all together. Beat this together for two minutes. Now we form the dough. Chef soon forms the lotus paste into a ball from which he creates a pocket for the salted duck egg which he seals in. He then shapes the dough and molds it around the lotus paste. He greases the mold into which goes the dough for shaping. This is our finished product. Bandan Lian Rong Chao Kari. Dan Huang Bai Lian Rong Yue Bi. 五仁月饼、茉莉花茶
月饼，呃，芒果 cheese， 单黄月饼。祝大家身体健康，中秋快乐。Happy Mid Autumn Festival to all. We wish everyone good luck and good health. I'm about to try this fortune wrapped fragrant rice, and yes, it is very aromatic. As for the flavors, I can imagine all the flavors wrapped in that one dish. And true enough, the meats, the vegetables, the mushroom with the jasmine rice. And this rice is a good way to start off a full meal, packed with a lot of fortune for the Mid-Autumn Festival. Together with the items on the menu, the fortune-wrapped fragrant rice symbolizes togetherness and a bountiful harvest. We've just had our fill of the laureate. Now it's time to try the mooncake flavors, and there are five of them. Let's start with the original, the assorted nuts with candied cranberries. Seeming like the safer option, the mooncake has chopped walnuts, sesame seed, pine nuts, almonds, and water chestnut. It is flavorful as it is rich in texture. I see why it's become a favorite. But then, they've also introduced several new flavors, incorporating Filipino-Chinese fusion. Like this pandan-flavored mooncake with a more Asian feel, or the white lotus paste with salted egg. Now I'm going for the white lotus with melon seeds and the salted egg, which Chef Sun Bing introduces too earlier. It's really hard to decide where to start, but before I indulge in these treats to cap off this meal, that will do it for this edition of Taste Buds. I'm Caroline Howard. Remember, life's a treat. Till next time. And speaking of mooncakes, finally, life is a treat for us as well. <laughs> we've got all five flavors here. Life is indeed a treat. Check it out. We've got... Uh, I'll, read the, I'll read the flavors. Yeah. Quite an assortment. Mango and cheese with Mango you. Mango and cheese. We That's... apologize because when, when the mooncakes were being transferred, some of the pieces fell. Fell into our mouth. Mm -hmm. um, this is... Look at this. It's mango and cheese. Mango and cheese with yolk. Titik mo ba ba ko na basa ko. Bagal bagal mo na pagbasa mo. Pandan with dark chocolate Malibu filled praline. That's very unusual. The one with the green one, right? I like the way they have very unusual flavors of the mooncake. Jasmine tea with dark chocolate hazelnut praline. May nahulog na naman na piraso. Premium white lotus with melon seeds and yolk, and the Mabuhay Palace assorted nuts with candied cranberries. Which is my personal. Which is my nice. personal favorite right over here. Five nuts. Five nuts. Will you be able to tell us the nuts that are um, included? Let me just uh, check. <laughs> um, mm. Why well, again are we, are we having... Um, uh, There's some walnut. There's some uh, uh, peanut. And um, I believe there's some uh, chalk nut in there as well. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Okay, tell us, again, tell us again why we're having mooncakes, uh, why, we, why we're featuring It's the Mid-Autumn Festival, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's a great time for the Chinese people to celebrate, and life is indeed a treat. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can swallow first, uh, according to the executive okay, producer. Okay, well, if you, if, you give me, but, if you give me a chance, I will. <laughs> I need someone to talk to. Mm. But parang lugi tayo when Caroline was featuring uh, her Taste Buds segment, May may ibang pagkain pa tayo, but mooncake lang na iwan sa tayo. Oh, although we did get this lovely cabinet set over here. Box not included. Box not included. Props are yet. Highly recommended. Guys, really have some. All right, coming up, folks. She's not your typical diva.